Hi there, this is your friend Virendra Diyar. The very purpose of my life is to be a true servant of the society as suggested by the great Christ, the greatest among ye shall be servant of mankind, rendering service intellectually, emotionally, spiritually, courageously, telling you and inspiring you that you believe in yourself. Your thoughts are your creator of fate and destiny. You are the master of your fate and you are the captain of your soul. By virtue of the fact that thought you cherish, desire and dream, they will be ultimately becoming reality and you will become what you dream to be, you will be what you think to be. Beloved friends, but there are so many people, sages, saints, poets, scholars, thinkers, writers, prophets and the wise men from generation to generation. They have dedicated and committed their life in the service of mankind and they discovered the true path leading to success, prosperity, cheerfulness and immortality. My very purpose of life is to get the background from their learnings and those lessons mixed with my own interest and my own experience I should pass on to you. Basically I deal with success and as you know to be successful in life you need to have the six basics desire, decision, faith, persistence, mastermind alliance and well-organized planning. Also you can say in different way a definite purpose in life backed by a tremendous faith and belief and executing your definite plan of action continually, persistently in the partnership of the best brands called the Mastermind Alliance and going extra miles, doing much more beyond the expectations of the people and then you are going to be successful. But if you have reached your goal and you have become a person of your dream, your vision and ideals have been realized progressively, deliberately, still you need to have peace of mind, you need to be happy and you need to be serviceable, respectable and honorable. For this, beyond this also you need a lot more things to learn, to cherish, to dream, to set to develop the basic principles of living a peaceful and happy life. Because you know, money alone cannot give you happiness. Just by achieving your goal and purpose and aim of life, you may not be very happy. To be happy, you have to learn some basics, principles of life. And in that context, beloved friends, this true servant of yours is going to share some noble thoughts of a great poet, Henry Wordsworth Longfellow. The song of life or the psalm of life. And it goes, what the heart of a young man said to the psalmist, psalm of life, tell me not in a mournful number, life is but an empty dream. The soul is dead, that slumbers, and things are not what they seem. Life is real. Life is earnest. And the grave is not its goal. Dust thou art, to dust returneth, was not spoken of the soul. Not enjoyment, not sorrow, is our destined end or way, but to act. That is tomorrow, finds us farther than today. Art is long and time is fleeting. Our heart, the stout and brave, is still like muffled drums are beating. Funeral marches to the grave. In the world, broad field of battle, in the bivouac of life, be not a dumb driven cattle, be a hero in the strife. 
Trust no future. Hover pleasant. Let the dead past bury with his dead. Act, act in the living present. Heart within and God overhead. Life of great men all remind us. We can make our life sublime and departing leave behind us footprints on the sands of time. Footprints that perhaps another sailing of her life solemn man, a forlorn shipwrecked brother, shall take heart again. Let us then be up and doing with a heart on any fate. Still achieving, still pursuing, learn to labor and to wait. Beloved friends, there are so many inspiring words in this poem. Try to understand the theme and really live by your creed. A brave heart, always emulating the path of the great and becoming yourself an example for the millions who will try to learn from your lessons of achievements, success, greatness. And then you will achieve immortality. You will never die. You have to pay the price to become such great personalities with following the success principles and also following the basic truth, truth of love, Meditation of love, joy, serenity, pity, and impurity. That is the path of enlightenment. That is the path of peace, prosperity, success, greatness. And lastly, remember, these things are very well within your reach, but they are slipping. The tempest of souls, whoever you are, wherever you are, under whatever conditions you may be living, know it. In the ocean of life, the happy isles of blessedness are smiling. Keep your hand firmly on the right and purity of thoughts. The sunny shore of your ideals and visions are waiting your arrival. In the bark of your soul reclines the commanding master. He does but sleep. Wake him. And know it very well. Self-discipline, self-control and balanced mind is your real strength. Calmness is your power and purity and righteousness in thought is your really mastery because the thought in the mind has made us what we are by thought was wrought and built. If a man's mind has impurity in thoughts, pain comes of him as comes the will ox behind. If one endures purity in thought, Zwaiz follows him as his own shadow. Show, sure, beloved friends, you are virtually what you are thinking. Your character is the sum total of all your thoughts. So deal with and dwell in the ocean of purity of thoughts, the great thoughts, with a positive mental attitude with a pleasing personality, personal initiative, and always rendering man's service to the mankind selflessly, and try to enlighten yourself by meditation. The life is not permanent. You are an actor on the stage of this world. Live sweetly, serenely, happily, cheerfully, joyfully every moment of your life, free from all evils, thoughts, dwelling in the tranquility, serenity, immortality, 
by virtue of the thought of generosity, kindness, compassion, philanthropistic approach, just by being yourself happy and enlightenment, just by being yourself great and successful and enlightened, your prime duty is to spread those wisdom like Buddha did, like Christ did and Confucius did, to make millions and millions more happy, truthful, successful, cheerful, and living a life of joy, peace, gladness. This world is really beautiful. With all its sham, drudgery, and broken dreams, this life and this world is still very charming, enchanting, and worth living. I wish you all the best. Be cheerful. Strive to be happy. Thank you very much for watching this video.